Hello everyone, welcome to 7 Day Creations, where we unleash the magical bond between imagination and creation. In this video, we will bring to life a special creation inspired by the wacky world of Woody Woodpecker. He's the feathered troublemaker with a laugh that could wake the neighborhood. So buckle up, get your creative hats on, and let's dive in this adventure together. In this video, I'll be using a Simlet can to make this creation come to life, similar to the ones here. I began by sculpting Woody Woodpecker in ZBrush, capturing him in a dynamic flying pose. After sculpting, I transferred the file to my 3D printer to bring Woody to life. After removing the supports, I sanded Woody and applied a primer to prepare him for painting, ensuring a smooth, flawless finish. During the removal of the supports, one of Woody's feathers chipped off, so I carefully repaired it by applying resin and UV light. I began painting by applying blue to Woody's body, and then red to his head, capturing his iconic look. Next, I applied yellow to his beak and applied white to his hands and eyes. Following that, I applied yellow paint to his feet and carefully painted his chest white, ensuring every detail captured the essence of Woody's lively persona. Afterwards, I painted his eyes and added intricate details to his face and the rest of his body, bringing this iconic character to life. After finishing the painting process for Woody, I transitioned to Fusion 360 to design a custom model which would serve as a perfect display for this creation's new home. The display features a scene depicting a traffic accident with two cars and a traffic light on top, while on the back, it proudly showcases Woody Woodpecker's name in bold lettering, adding a personalized touch to the presentation. After printing out all the components for this project, I began with the traffic light. I carefully removed all the supports, then applied a wood filler to smooth out any imperfections. Once dry, I sanded it down and started the painting process.
changes the traffic light yellow and allowed it to dry completely before proceeding to add the red, yellow, and green interior pieces. Moving on to the two cars from the model, I first removed all the supports, then filled any imperfections that I found with wood filler before painting. Both cars received a unique paint job, one in metallic gold and the other in metallic gray. This added a cool touch to the project, making it stand out beautifully. Now it's time to cut open the simlet can. I will apply a yellow painted foam adhesive sheet to the back not only complementing the overall look of the can, but also harmonizing with the colors of Woody Woodpecker. I printed out a cartoon scenery of buildings to place inside the can, enhancing the visual appeal and adding an extra dimension to overall presentation. After staging some of the 3D prints for the project, I marked the sides of the can to cut both sides slightly wider, allowing enough space for the sides of the model cars to pass through. For this project, I'll incorporate five LED lights. I'll solder them and control them using a Raspberry Pi Pico microcontroller. Four of the lights will remain continuously on, while the fifth light will blink every half second, adding dynamic lighting effects to the display. After all the LED lights soldered, I wired up the switch and batteries. Then I carefully threaded all the wires through both of the light poles. After the traffic light dried, I added the red, yellow, and green pieces to complete it. Then I threaded the LED light wires through the inside of the inner LED mount guide, which will illuminate the interior of the can. Once the traffic light was mounted, I threaded the remaining wires through the light poles. This clever design not only integrates the wires seamlessly into the visual aesthetic of the project, holding the traffic light in place, 
but also hides them as they connect to the power source, maintaining a clean and polished appearance. Like I've mentioned earlier in the video, I developed a straightforward code for the Pico microcontroller, enabling the control of five LEDs. Here's a snapshot of what I've uploaded to it. With all the wires successfully connected to the controller, it was time to install the cars into the project. But before adding the two cars, I printed out a roll for them and carefully painted it. Then I glued it in place, following the path set by the gold and gray cars. To create the illusion of Woody flying above the two cars, I used a clear plastic rod. I carefully glued it to the back of Woody and mounted him in place, ensuring he appeared to be soaring gracefully over the scene. this project even more, I applied brick details to the edge of the can, creating the illusion that two cars crashed through a brick wall. I've even added bricks to the cars themselves, ensuring a cohesive, impactful visual narrative. Finishing touches, I attached light covers to the light poles, placed the go sign in Woody's hand, and placed Woody Woodpecker at the back of the can, completing the project with a final touch of charm and personality. creators as we wrap up today's journey of creation i want to send out a huge shout out to each of you for riding this wave with us if you enjoyed watching this masterpiece unfold smash that like button spread the creativity by sharing and don't forget to hit subscribe to join us for more adventures stick around because there's always another seven day creation on the horizon until next time keep creating and stay inspired catch you in the next video